I'm Terry. I'm the manager of customer support. And this is the Race Auto Complete interview on how to run 10G home internet. In some of Race's newer service areas, we have started offering 10 gigabit internet service. That means 10,000 megabits per second. To put that in perspective, most cable internet companies right now are offering packages between one to 600 megabits per second. Some of them that have partial fiber networks are offering 1,000 megabits per second. Fully fiber networks in very limited parts of the United States right now are able to offer 10 gigabit service, and race is one of those. In order to take advantage of that, there are some requirements. Internet technology, Wi-Fi technology, device technology isn't quite at the 10 gigabit level yet in most instances. So most devices you buy aren't going to be able to use 10 gigabit or measure 10 gigabit in the modern world. Buying 10 gigabit service now and us building 10 gigabit infrastructure is future-proofing. If you happen to be one of the few people for whom one gigabit isn't sufficient, 10 gigabits available. If you're one of those people who wants to have the newest, greatest, coolest thing, 10 gigabits available. If you're a business that relies on being able to send or receive large amounts of data, 10 gigabit is available. In order to make it work, you need equipment that can handle that kind of data transmission. RACE provides an ONT, which is an optical network terminal, um, that is the fiber equivalent of a modem, that can handle 10 gigabit transmission. We offer a router that can handle 10 gigabit transmission. That router does not have 10 gigabit output ethernet ports. So what that means is that if you plug a device into the RACE router, each ethernet port on the router will provide its own dedicated one gigabit. So you could plug four devices into the router, one in each port, and each of those devices could use a full gigabit all by themselves at the same time. Or you could buy a 10 gigabit network switch, plug it into one of those ports, and you could share that gigabit between any of the devices that are connected to that switch. Alternatively, if you have your own 10 gigabit router that has a 10 gigabit output ethernet port, you could plug a switch, a 10 gigabit ethernet switch into that port, and you could provide multiple gigabits of bandwidth to any single device plugged into that switch. The important consideration is that, as it says here, 10 G capable device they don't really exist yet. If there are any, they are prototypes, they're new, they're expensive. You don't really need yet the ability to provide 10G to a device. The benefit of having 10G available to you isn't that you're going to run a speed test and see 9800 megabits per second on your device. It's that you're going to have 100 devices connected and they're all going to get the maximum speed that they possibly can. Bandwidth is the key, not the speed. You've got a 10 gigabit circuit, you have all the room in the world to connect as many devices as you have, and each of those devices will operate to its full capacity. If you are connecting via ethernet, you need a CAT6A ethernet cable. If you have a CAT5E cable, those are perfectly good for a one gigabit connection. If you're using a CAT5e connection between your race router and your device, you will get the full gigabit that that ethernet port is able to provide to that device. But if you're using your own 10G router, your own 10G network switch, if you have a device with a 10G ethernet network card, then you need a CAT6A cable to see those 10G speeds. A Cat5e cable just won't transmit that fast. 
at least not over any significant distances. So, so in order to have a 10G device, you need all of these things. But you don't need to have all of these things to use 10G internet because it's not about the speed, it's about the bandwidth. You've got all of your devices connected and all of them is going blazing fast. There is no limit to how many devices can transmit at the same time. Even 1000 megabits per second, it's unlikely that most people will have any issues. But with 10,000, there's nothing you can do that's going to max that out. For people who want to be future ready, for people who want to make sure that whatever comes down the pipe, if they're, they're gonna buy the newest iPhone the second it comes out every single time. If you've got your 10G ethernet, as soon as they make a 10G iPhone, it already works. It's important to keep in mind what the 10G is about. We're not looking to get your device today, right now, 10 gigabits of speed. We're giving you 10 gigabits of bandwidth so that all of your devices will perform to the maximum 